Okay, we have some weather magic. And you know what? I don't care if it's warm. I don't care if it's cold. I don't uh -huh. care what it is. Pizza is good any mm, time of day. Absolutely. Even for breakfast, too. That's oh the best gosh, part. Yeah. So as we wake up this morning, if you have leftovers in your fridge, come share with us. All right, let's take a quick look at what's going on outside. It has been a hot one for our inland areas. I'm going to spend some time real fast on San Francisco, where later this afternoon it's going to get a little bit breezier, but not nearly as hot as some of our inland areas by any means. Our wind speeds along our coastline today, heading into the afternoon hours, get anywhere up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour, not only in San Francisco, but stretching inland too in areas like Concord and Fairfield. The difference from our coastline, though, all the way off into our inland areas, it's our temperatures. We get that nice marine influence along our coast. By the time we head into our inland areas, we're still dealing with that huge heat dome cooking us as we head into this afternoon. So it's going to be a dry, warm, breezy day for us today throughout our inland areas. Once we head into the rest of this week, low pressure moves in from the north. That's going to cool us down. So areas like Antioch, Livermore, Fairfield, all throughout the East Bay, day by day, our excessive heat risk is going to slowly start to lower. But nonetheless, I want to show you the numbers as we head over to our virtual reality map. It is a hot day for us today throughout the East Bay. Once again, we are dealing with triple digit weather in areas like Livermore this afternoon, upper 90s, all the way over to Concord with triple digits stretching up into Fairfield. Notice our coastline that influence from the marine area or actually just from the Pacific is really going to help us out. We're going to be sitting in the 60s today near Half Moon Bay, 70s near Daly City in San Francisco, a lot more mild along the peninsula. But once we head down into the Santa Clara Valley, it is still hot for us this afternoon in the valley sitting in the 90s, anywhere from San Jose all the way over into Los Gatos. Day by day, it's going to get better though. Let's take a look at the next seven days. This is a great tool to use on a day like today to kind of show you the concept contrast that we have throughout this week. I mean, upper 90s this afternoon, mid 90s tomorrow. We quickly cool down into the 60s, excuse me, 70s and 80s just by Friday into Saturday throughout our inland areas. But we do have some 60s along the coast and along the peninsula right around the corner too. take a look at this daytime highs holding on tight to the 60s by Friday and Saturday 70s by Sunday. Perfect timing for the San Francisco Marathon and then kicking into next week. More cloudy skies in the forecast for us moving in from offshore with 70s in sight all throughout the Bay shoreline.